ta-da! Back up and running. Whoa, whoa, whoa. All right, guys, so here's the Psycho. We got it on the workbench. Let's pull the top off. Oh my God, what happened? No, I'm just kidding. So what uh, what I've done already is I've taken the shock tower off. I've already been it flat, but as you can see right here, hopefully you guys can see that, there's a big crack in it. So, and this thing's only about like, I don't know, maybe two mil thick, like tin foil, dude. I don't get it. $700 truck, tin foil. But what I'm going to do is take this handy dandy piece of three millimeter thick carbon fiber. Now this is actual true carbon fiber. And as you can see, I've never used it before, but I'm going to go ahead and make my own. Make my own shock tower. Now what I'm gonna do first it's gonna clip this to the plate. I'll, of course, I'll be doing it over in a corner so I can utilize like the most amount, you know. But I'm going to take a C clip, clip this to it, and then drill out all the holes first. And then I'm going to trace it out and cut it out. So let's get to it, guys. Okay, guys. So check it out. See how I got that on there? on the corner here, right up to the corner, right up to the bottom. And uh, so I'm just gonna drill every single one of these holes out with this drill right here. I'll show you a couple and then I'll do it and be right back with you guys. Okay, so we got our carbon fiber set up on here. I already drilled one hole just to make sure this is gonna work out. But uh, you can see I've got it C-clipped. I've got it sitting on this board right here. So when the drill goes through, it doesn't go into my bench. So I'll show you guys a couple holes and then I'll get it done and show you guys what it looks like. And then we'll trace it out and cut it out. Just like that guys. That's two holes down. A bunch to go let's get her done right on all right guys so all the holes are drilled and right now I'm going to take a pencil because you can't see pin on this very well but I'm going to take a pencil and trace it out it's kind of just like this and then I will cut it out what I had to do was actually take a sharpie because the pencil wasn't working very good but you can see that right the outline of it so now I'm gonna cut it out with my Dremel, and yeah, hopefully it works out. I did kind of mess up on these two holes here, the first ones I drilled, but everything else looks good, and I'm just using this hole anyway, so. You know, first time for everything, but I think it's gonna turn out well. Let's get to this, guys. Alright guys, so I got it all cut out. As you can see, I'm going to touch it up with uh, the sander head for the Dremel and just kind of go around and make it look, you know, as close to the uh, metal one as I can. I am not going to be cutting those squares out. Uh, I don't see any need for doing all that extra work and stuff just to do that. but. Yeah, I'll give you a view of the finished product and it should be, you know, relatively awesome. Safety first guys, I'm wearing one of these to shield my face because this stuff is pretty gnarly. So. Well guys, there it is. That is my first shock tower that I've made out of carbon fiber or anything else. Um, I'm going to go ahead, put it on the truck, see how it looks, and uh, hopefully everything works out and I'll show you guys the finished product. Alright guys, there it is. 
in all of its glory. Um, do you have to say I'm pretty happy with it? Not bad at all, I don't think. And you know, it's three millimeters thick instead of being a uh, tin foil like this thing. So, you know, I'm going to keep this around just in case um, for some oddball reason this thing breaks, which I'm pretty sure it never will. Um, I think the screws would just pull out first. But yeah, and now I have found another thing. This shock right here seems to be leaking, but at least it's still working. I don't really care about leaky shocks. You know, I do have a Sin Colossus that leaks everywhere. So um, I might pull this off again just to uh, maybe tighten this down. This was the side that bent real bad, but the shaft seems intact. It might have just... Uh, leaked a little bit of fluid out when it kind of torqued it or whatever but please uh like this video if you did thumbs down it if you didn't stay tuned to killer offered hobbies there's a lot more coming at you if you feel like being part of the donation slash giveaway raffle thing there'll be a link in the description below and uh yeah if you're new here please subscribe this is gary from killer off-road hobbies saying Peace out for now, guys, and uh, we will see you on the next video.